Five remaining. More backcourt pressure is being implored. Looks like a 1-2-1-1. One, one, one. Larson's crock tour pass to Pirjevic. The alley oop and what a dunk! Oh my goodness! The 2019-20 season between the University of Maine Black Bears clad in white, the home team, and the Merrimack College Warriors making their debut in the Division I ranks. Brian Stackle, Sandy Thomas with you, and we are underway. Should be an intriguing matchup here as the Black Bears last year throw an ollie oop up, and now Darwich connects with Fleming, which they hope to do quite often. Get for Jaleel Lord, who now has all five of the Merrimack points. Here's the pass back. El Darwich now gets the ball reset by Pirjevic. One thing Coach Barron was mentioning to us earlier too, Brian, is that this Merrimack team is, is a team that's used to playing together. They go to back to El Darwich. A deep three-pointer with five seconds left in the shot clock. The rebound scooped up from Andrew Fleming. And now the Black Bears will restart things. By the way, new rule this year in NBA, in, uh, I should say college basketball, on an offensive rebound, it only resets the shot clock to 20 seconds, and Black Bears don't need all 20 seconds because they find Adrian Flo. Well, in the exhibition game against McGill University out of Canada, which was a nice team for Maine, I think it was a 70 to 63 score, McGill started to tighten it up a little bit at the end, but Maine did a good job of closing it out. Pull up jumper for Fleming, nothing but nylon there. Easy rebound, maybe the easiest of his career. By the way, Fleming hitting very, very close to that 1,000 point mark in his career. He's now four points away. He did just 12 entering this contest tonight. So we'll keep an eye on that as this one progresses. Larson trying to work it into Fleming. He works his way towards the bucket. And four maybe. Um, so yeah, there's a, a lot of mismatch going on in there in the paint. Free throw is up and it is missed from Fleming. So he'll the same build as uh, young Andrew Fleming, the senior from Norway, Maine. Second yeah. free throw is up and good. Sorry, Brian. Yeah, Reed is a freshman, so obviously. Today, as Coach Barron said, rebound by El Darwich for the Blackers. 17 to 5 lead with just under 11 left to play in this first half. Had some NCAA clearance things that he had to get squared away, but got so before the game. And what a play inside to fly. And that's what they've got to have on this Black Bear team is leadership and quality leadership like that. To play as a team, look for the best shot. Don't take the worst shot and don't worry about who's scoring the points. They've got to understand that defense and rebounds wins ball games. The dagger by Jensen chips away at the deficit, which now reads 13. Main on top by a Baker's dozen. Godin swings it to El Darwich, being guarded by Watkins. Still the zone. Bikers trying to break it. They do so. Little baby hook on the lane outside of it, and Andrew Fleming. Years ago, Main lost to that. Very Fort true. Kent team, 85 to 80. Merrimack team could be one that surprises, though they're going to be road weary early on. They'll be taking on Northwestern on Friday. So they'll basically head right onto a plane. They're working into Fleming. He's going to be knocked out of bounds. Playing some tough games, which they should, to get used to the Division One, and as they head into their first conference play in D1. Yeah, both teams taking on Dartmouth. It'll be your schedule, and in, in particular for the Black Bears, the Ameriki slate. Well, Maine's got Harvard, which I, from what I understand from Coach mm. Curry, is one of the best. Yet, 34 to 22 is the score with just over four minutes left to play in the first half. Maine is on top, but it's getting a little tighter here from the cross. But good passing underneath. This one deflects up almost underneath. So another chance for the Black Bears to do some damage from the line. Fleming gets that one up and through. He's now five for six. Second one waiting for Fleming. That one's around and down too. Johnson. There was no communication there on Maine. There was a went kind of back door and nobody communicated. Black Bears up by eight, looking to add on with 40 seconds left to go. Around 20 seconds of differential between shot and game clock. Quick passing, Fleming off the window and in for two. Back up to a 10-point lead. Back to a very tight six-point game. Been a while since it was a six-point game. Maine's largest lead came back with 5.30 remaining 
in the first half was up to 16 points. Merrimack did lead one time, is one point. The alley oop attempt will draw the foul. Rebounding 19 to 14. 50 to 44, main on top. Make it 51 to 44, 1508. By the way, today, is able to notch point number 1,000 in the first half. Not in the first half, he was able to get to that. Shouldn't have any dead spots anymore. They did a lot of work in October, making sure it's as crystal clear and perfect as possible. This one's rejected, but another foul will be called. Floors shouldn't have any dead spots anymore. They did a lot of work in October, making sure it's as crystal clear and perfect as possible. This one's rejected, but another foul will be called. Fleming going up for the second chance opportunity, and he'll get his second chance from the free throw line. Coach Bear is a little bit fired up over there. I'm not sure if something just happened that they had been trying to get these guys to do. And they did it. Chance for Fleming to add on to his game high 22 points. Shot is up and it is missed. He's been pretty good. Obviously he's going to be a key player. He has to stay healthy. I think Maine could have done a, a few good things towards the end of the season last year if he had not gotten hurt. Uh, Heading 20 left to go. Yeah, right now, Maine is playing a uh, pretty. Oh, what a pass again. Backdoor left block. A little bit more of a point of emphasis for them. So after going a perfect 7 for 7, Joyner cannot make either of his free throws. Backcourt pressure broken up as the pass goes to Fleming. 10 minutes and change left to go. 65 46. Maine on top by 19. Ball being swung around, El Darwich finds Andrew Fleming, reverse layup won't fall, but he'll go to the to mind, obviously, mm. and, and so forth. So again, I think whether or not Maine can attack the basket well, and obviously, too, they're getting a lot of in-the-paint points because of the mismatch they have been in the past. I think Maine's got some good height and some good things going on in there now, but um, I, I think it's going to come down for Maine. It's going to come down, and they've just got to get better. Moments of... Good things from both sides. Maine having their best stretch here. This one misses short. The rebound cleaned up like a dinner plate by the place. <laughs> well, lots, lots of W's on pretty. Irovich <laughs> crosses the timeline. Now into Fleming. Will drive in. Looking for the pull up, but he's going to get whacked. Correct. 19th foul for Merrimack, by the way. So Maine will be shooting two for the duration of the contest. And that is big number three zero. Yeah, that was that was quite the show of that game that he had then. He was shot ninety percent from the field. He was eighteen mm. for twenty two in that game. He had thirty five remaining. More backcourt pressure is being implored. Looks like a one two one one. Larson's cross tour pass to Pirovich. The Ali open. What a dunk! Oh my goodness! Go. Good pump fake. Almost pump fakes the player out of his shoes. Fleming with a rebound up over the front iron and in. Oh, feeds it out to Pirovich. Five on the shot clock. Pull up jumper is up. It's going to be this. Fleming though. The reverse layup off the window and in. The 2019-20 season between the University of Maine Black Bears clad in white, the home team, and the Merrimack College Warriors making their debut in the Division I ranks. Brian Stackpole, Sandy Thomas with you, and we are underway. Should be an intriguing matchup here as the Black Bears last year throw an ollie oop up, and now Darwich connects with Fleming, which they hope to do quite often.